I know you're scared. I am too. But I need you back and I need you to stay in my life. I should have gone for it. <laughs> we are back with All I Want for Christmas on the episode app and it is a Christmas miracle. Our ex and our girl Holly are kind of, you know, they're having a little moment. She's happy. They ends it a little, uh, but we're going to see what happens. They're cute. They like each other. They're ready to get together. His candy cane's ready. Her peppermint's ready. And you know what? We're going to find out what happens and start the Christmas drama. Okay, so she's upset. They're going on a date. Some touchy subjects came up about her cafe that she owns. That what her that was her mother's dream that is potentially getting shut down. And then he offered to be like, I'll pay for it. Because he's a like rich rock star now. But she got a little offended. I'm sorry, Holly. I wasn't trying to offend you. No. I know. I'm sorry I stormed out like that. That's okay. Hey. Do you remember what happens here? Enlighten us because we don't know. You think I forgot the spot where I first kissed you? Okay. So they had their first kiss here. Of course not. It just seems like such a long time ago, you know? Yeah, it does. Everything was so much simpler back then. We were happy together. My mom was alive and healthy and our dreams felt like an arm's reach away. Back when my world knew no pain. Can I just say that this date got very dark and intense i thought this was gonna be real cute it took a whole separate direction i wish we could go back you do mr rockstar with hot actresses and piles of money please ignore the plane if you can hear it that's going over why wouldn't you want to go back when you're literally living your dream because i'm not living my dream Oh, so what's his what's his tea now the only dream that mattered walked out of my life three years ago He's very sweet. Noel, his words and his touch made my heart flutter with excitement. I think other things too. I had tried so hard to move on, but he still had this pull on me. And right now, after this special night he had planned just for me, I wanted nothing more than to pull him close. To kiss those lips. Ooh, girl, that's 29 gems. <laughs> you really gonna kiss him for that? Okay, we'll be nice. Noel, kiss me. <laughs> Okay, y'all, right now, the moment was all I needed. Our lips perfectly fit, meant to be, I say. The urgency in our affection was something I could not get enough of, no matter how hard I tried. I had dreamed of the day I would feel this again. And she was acting this whole time as if she's like, I can't stand him, no more Noel, and she's been waiting on this the whole time. Wow, Holly. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even know what to say. So how does this compare to our first? Well, I'm not sure I have enough information. I think he wants to kiss him again. Slick. Real slick, Noel. And there they go. This is going to be amazing. Look at that tree. What's going on down there? Town Square tree lighting. That's tonight. Why aren't we down there? I didn't think Mr. Rockstar would be so excited. Y'all about to put things in the stocking. I figured Mr. Rockstar over here wouldn't want to go. Are you crazy? We have to hurry. Okay, okay. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How steadfast are your branches? Oh, they're singing. I'm not about to draw this. And through the snows of wintertime. Oh, there's our friends. Can I just say how much better this town feels? The positive energy now that Claire is gone. And she tried it with the tabloids and the paparazzi and it failed. It flopped. It backfired. That's what you get when you're a bad person. Exactly. Holly. No. Wait, Holly and Noel, it's a holly jolly Christmas now, so a lot has happened today. I can't wait to be filled in. You kids have fun. Oh, we were upstairs. It's good being at home. You know what? We're going to be very sweet to him. It's good to have you too. I guess you could say it's good to have you home too. Things are positive for the both of them. I'm happy. Wow. The tree is absolutely stunning this year. You always did love decorating Christmas trees the most, didn't you? Decorating and lighting the tree with loved ones is a magical feeling you can't get anywhere else. You know, I've always wanted to do the tree lighting ceremony. I've just never gotten the chance. Hmm. Stay here. I'll be right back. See, Noel, what is this gonna- Noel Evans, what a pleasant surprise. I know, we all know what this is leading to. We all know what this is leading to. What can I do for you? I'm gonna be shook. If it doesn't go how I planned, Noel Evans just made a very compelling case as to why I should let you two light the tree this year. Especially you, Holly. Really, you did this for me, Noel. Let's see if you did this. Let's see if you did this, Noel. 
Of course, for the girl who inspires so much Christmas, let me add do anything. Holly, let's make your dream come true together. Bold text, we know what that means. And the answer is, I'd rather not know. This is coming out of your paycheck, not mine. Sorry, you should talk to your boyfriend, Holly. Sorry, but I'm gonna pass. Okay, I'll see you when I get back then. I'll be here. <laughs> that was fun, but it would have been better with you. <laughs> the way her face looks so sad. Next time. Next time. OMG, hi, Noel. Can I get a photo? Okay, that's Lexi So That is the author of this story. Sorry, I'm actually on a date. I want a photo first. I would love to get an autograph, Noel. No, me. I was here first, Noel. Noel, over here. Noel, Noel, Noel. And if you don't know, the author's Instagram is linked in my description box down below if you want to go check out more of their stories. Watching the crowd throw themselves over Noel reminded me of why this would never work. Sis, we're not going to do this. Stop. Stop with the pity party. The last few days, I was starting to forget how hard it was to be with famous Noel. But this came as a sharp and painful reminder that sharing the one you love with the world is not an easy task. I'm going to go home. Oh, we can head to my car then. She's pulling all this. You're exhausting, Holly. You were being exhausting. Things are going fine. Why are you trying to do this? Why? No, thank you. I'll walk. I, just be honest. You need some alone time. Are you sure? I'll see you around, Noel. And just like that, she had slipped through my fingers again for no real reason. <laughs> like, no real reason. It had been a few days since my date with Noel, and I felt as lousy as I did the night I left him. Was Riley pushing him away because it was the best choice? No. No. Or was it me just playing into my fear? Yes. Okay, enough feeling down and sad about my life. I am the one who has the power to make my life what I want it to be. Yes. And I'm deciding that today is going to be a good day. Wonderful start, Holly. Starting with a fabulous outfit. Oh, what outfit is that going to be, Miss Thing? Oh, really? Oh, she look cute. There's no way I'm wearing my coffee stained uniform over this. Today's all about taking back the day and setting my life back on track. Girl, you about to be derailed. Sorry, wear your coffee stained uniform. Where's my third outfit I paid for? Where's that? I still have not got the chance to use the third one. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Back to your work uniform. Enjoy. Now, do you look amazing. You look perfect. Gorgeous. Get to work. Okay, I want to know, what in the world? Why are there so many customers? A poor girl's not used to this. It's Holly, where's Noel? Is my love coming here today? If Noel drinks this coffee, I drink this coffee. Help me. You get in business. Where did all these people come from? I have no idea. Apparently they heard about you on TV. Assist, you get in business. You need to start making them coffee. Go call Miranda. We are in desperate need to back up. I'm on it. You got this, sis. You know what? You may look exhausted, and that was the last one. Will you please count the register rush out? But they made bank. You got a boss. Everyone, I never thought I'd say this, but thank you, Claire Ronaldo. It's probably the only good thing that woman has done in her life. Yeah. Are you off for the day? Yeah, Jerry's coming in soon. Want to go back to my place and bake some gingerbread cookies? Yes, please. Holy shit. What happened? We made bank is what happened. See, we knew we knew the tea. How much did they make? Is it going to say? Oh my gosh. Is it enough to pay off? No, but it may be enough to convince Mrs. Underwood to give us some more time. At least we finally have a chance. I am so happy that she doesn't have to give up. The shop. These gingerbread cookies are going to be amazing. Babe, yes. Oops. Did you bring... Oh. Nell's here. Did you bring back any lunch? Oh, hey, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi. So strange running into you here. She's like, we should actually go grab some now. I'm sure Holly and Noah can handle the gingerbread cookie making. That's a great idea. We'll leave you two lovebirds to it. I like how they were straight up just like, y'all are going to do your thing, you do your thing. Points there. Remember when we baked gingerbread cookies every Sunday in December? How could I forget? I used to make mine super cute while you try to make yours look like monsters. Hey, I was trying to make mine different. Mission accomplished. Hey, 
Holly, I'm really sorry. Things got kind of out of hand at the Christmas tree lighting. To be honest, this is Holly's. This is on Holly. Am I wrong? And thinking, I mean, no one's really at fault here. No one did anything wrong per se, but am I wrong? And thinking that Holly was being extra about that whole situation. I get that. That's not easy. I get that. But the whole like, I'm going home alone. It's like, girl, (laughs) they sure did. I don't know which one to say. You can say that again. Well, I want you to know that I'm here now and I'm not going anywhere. No paparazzi, no fans, just us. Let me make up for the lost time we had at the end of the night. 29 June, I should have bought the dress. I'm here now ready to bake gingerbread cookies, but we'll be nice. Absolutely. Our first gingerbread man, why do we get suckered into these things? Our first gingerbread man is going to be so cute. Let's get started. What color gumdrop should we add? You know, let's do red. I want a gingerbread cookie right now. That sounds so good. The red gum drops remind me of a beautiful poinsettia flower. What color bow tie should we add? Um, you gotta be color coordinated. Go red. Purple would have worked too, actually. Maybe, I don't know. Our gingerbread man is looking quite dapper in this crimson bow tie, as he should. Now for the finishing touch. What kind of expression? You know what? He's gonna be super happy. Looks as at its cute little grin. Now that is a quality gingerbread man. I'd almost feel bad eating that, but kind of hungry, so... Oh, it's so adorable. Let's take a pic with it. Take a screenshot. I'm good. Three, two, one. All right. Y'all take your imaginary screenshot. That was so much fun. Just wait until Derek and Miranda see our amazing baking skills. They won't know what hit them. So how was it? It was really good. I just, I'm worried about introducing more boy drama into my life. You don't have boy drama because you don't have any boys. What's so bad about that? Would you admit that maybe there's a reason you never date anyone else? We know the reason. Because she's all about Noah. She can try. She can try all she wants. But she likes him. It's okay. Maybe you've been waiting for him to come back. You're right. Stop lying. There might have been some truth to it. Why are you so hung on us getting back together anyways? What do you mean why? You two are meant for each other soulmates that's a big word he's throwing she's throwing out there plus he dumped that witch for you and has spent his entire time home begging for you back i think he's proven himself worthy of another chance he has if he didn't seem like such a good person deep down i would be like no no you're an ex exes are exes for a reason however there are exceptions so he has been trying really hard if he was back home for good, I might give him another chance. But he's leaving after Christmas. If we try it again, we just end up repeating what happened last time. I just don't think Noel and I are a possibility anymore. Well, in that case, you need to tell him that. Because I think he's starting to get false hope. You're right, I'll tell him tonight. You're gonna tell him. You're gonna try to make it work. But try. Just try, Holly. So how to go. We baked the cookies together and it was great. But she's also been avoiding me the past few days. She's just so hot and cold. One second I feel like I have my Holly back in the next. She's a stranger who wants nothing to do with me. Holly's a complex person for sure. I think most days she doesn't even know what she wants. I know what I want. I want her back. You really do, don't you? I hope they're not going to try to pull something. I feel like I've been numb since the day she's left. And the minute I saw her, the sight of her jolted me back to life. I'm really hoping one of them doesn't like have to drop their entire life to please the other person. Because that's not right. I don't want to lose that feeling again. I think you're telling this to the wrong person. I should say this to her. If you want her back, hell yes, you should. These are amazing. We used Holly's mom's secret recipe. It's amazing. She had the baker's touch, but I need to be getting home. Noel, want to give me a ride? Me? You're the only Noel in the room. Oh, sure. I'll go start the car. Okay, this is where we're gonna... Good luck. Thanks. Oh, no. Thanks for taking me home. Anytime. Noel, we need to... to talk. You go first. Let him go. Let him say his stuff first. Maybe you'll change your mind. I love you, Holly. I haven't stopped loving you, and I don't think I ever will. And I know you're scared, I am too. But I need you back, and I need you to stay in my life. I should have gone for it. (laughs) Holly. (laughs) 
I thought this would change your mind and maybe change the story a little bit. My bad, y'all. My mistake. Am I about to get a breakup speech? Unfortunately, I'm afraid I've been giving you false hope lately and I don't want to lead you on. I will probably always love you, but I can't act on it. I can't give you another chance, I'm sorry. Give him an explanation because you and I don't work anymore. That's a lie and you know it. Y'all were perfectly fine. It's just you feel uncomfortable about the long distance relationship and the whole fans paparazzi thing. So this is goodbye. I couldn't believe our journey was ending here. All of those moments we shared together wishing there was room for more. Holly, can I ask for one night more? Stop giving him false hope. Why is she? Plus, it ain't going to change anything. Goodbye. Have a Merry Christmas, Holly. It, you did this to yourself, sis. You're going to be all missed thing like, oh my gosh, this has to end. And then you're going to spend one last night with him? Uh-uh. Don't play hot and cold like that. What are you so smiley about? Noah's going to confess his feelings for Holly tonight. Oh, Derek. Holly was going to tell him it's never going to happen tonight. Why? Those two are exhausting. They drive me crazy. I wish there was a way we could force them to talk about their problems. We'd probably have to lock them in a room together to get that to happen. Oh, we're going to do it. I have an idea. We're going to see if we can save this Christmas disaster. My goodness, tell me what you guys think about Holly and them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next chapter of All I Want for Christmas. Mm -hmm.